You're rather popular in this part of the world after uh, after this week. I mean, that's been a great week, hasn't it? In all seriousness, two wins, two clean sheets, six points at home. Fantastic week, yeah. It's, it's down to the players. You know, I was trying to make that point when I was out there as well and pointing to the players. So it's brilliant. We've got a great rapport, real connection with the supporters. Um, the lads are the ones that are going out over that white line and doing it, working incredibly hard for each other. And I thought today we, we deserved it. It's a great start. You've talked about making a quick start. Yeah. Uh, obviously, early goal. That first 20 minutes, um, I mean, the only thing missing was more goals. Yeah, I agree with that. I thought we started very well. We were really aggressive. We were on the front foot. The goal was um, showed that. I think Alfie won the header. We won the second ball. Pelly latched onto it and, and scored a really good goal. So, yeah, that set us up well. And then couldn't quite get the second goal. You're right. But, um, but then I didn't feel too troubled even at 1-0 today. We've always got to be careful and respectful. We know they've got some good players. We can have some good moments. There's a couple of like hairy moments mm. when the ball came in the box from set pieces, but I didn't feel under too much threat. Uh, and I thought we managed the game pretty well, seeing it out. Yeah, I was going to say, Ethan's not had, I mean, he's had stuff to do, but not, you know, been busy making lots of saves. And mm. you, as you say, set pieces was the only thing. Yeah, I think so. And we have to be diligent. And, and um, set pieces are such a huge part of the game, especially in the Football League. Oh, at all levels, it doesn't matter what, what it doesn't matter what level they are. We were really diligent with those today, and um, I thought we looked a threat, especially early on with the first couple. We nearly got locks in as well um, from our first corner. But uh, yeah, overall, just really, really pleased with the week. It's been a, a difficult week, busy week, and um, you know it doesn't stop there. We've got to go again on Tuesday. Um, in terms of the defence, because it, we, you've talked, oh, we've talked about you know goals conceded before your time and, and in your time here. Um, but uh, Mari Bell has slotted sort of in there. Uh, Reese Burke's come back, and that, that you know that sort of two clean sheets is, uh, has been really important. Yeah, I thought the defenders were great, but I th I, I, and this is deadly serious now because the front two worked so hard and pressed so well as well. They set that up. And the midfielders behind that are so honest and they're full of running and they, they're, they're backing up the forwards work. Yeah. Um, but I agree, I thought, the, um, I thought the, the defenders today were terrific with, along with Ethan. Um, there were some really good individual performances. I thought everyone was at least a seven and a half out of ten and, um, and uh, yeah, delighted with that. But, you know, we've got Gabe who's, you know, equally as capable mm. as, as any of those defenders and Potsy to come back. Sonny's progressing as well. We've got some real competition for places in that in that back line. And Fred on your dinner keeps having these little cameos on that right hand side, but is you know playing an important part as well. And you know players are coming back, aren't they? It's, it's yeah. almost like new signing. Yeah, well we've got we've got, obviously we've got to be careful with loads. So one with Cody, um, he'd been booked and he's obviously then just you know second game in a few days for him at, at this level. Now it's just getting him back up to speed and. Um, and, and we're trying to do the same with Fred and managing people within league games. It's hard to sort of go, right, we're going to give him that amount of minutes and that amount of minutes. It was nice today that we were able to get Marv 30 minutes and Fred a little bit more again and manage Carlton because, you know, Carlton gave everything and, you know, probably just wasn't today able to then keep that going for 20, another 25 minutes or so. So we were able to look after people, keep people fit, get more people up to speed and win a game of football so yeah it's been a good day and stay fourth and you yeah. know you're cementing a place in those playoff places yeah like I said all along we, you know we know how difficult the challenge is going to be but we want to be in the mix come those last five games or so um, you know we're giving ourselves a great opportunity here you know we all feel it supporters feel it as well and I want people to talk about that I don't care I'm not shy about saying it why not let's aim for it and have a good go and if we don't, then we'll back each other and we'll try and go again next year. But we're in a great position at the moment. Let's enjoy the ride. Keep working really hard. Stay humble because we know what gets us a win. That's working hard, fighting, staying together, doing the basics well. And then we know we've got a bit of quality um, you know, any, at any time, any moment in the game where we can win it. Um, so let's, let's realise why we're in the position we're in at the moment. Not get carried away, but enjoy it as well. And what you've also done, which is sort of becoming the Luton way, as a relatively smaller club, you're right in there with a load of clubs who've all been in the Premier League. I think you were the only one in the top six. Wasn't I know Luton played in the top division years ago, but you're up against clubs with bigger budgets, bigger grounds, bigger everything. This um, spirit of the underdog seems to live on the Luton. Yeah, I, I'm not buying that underdog stuff anymore. I don't like it, and our players don't like it, because we've got really good players here. Um, that are capable of playing at a very, very good level, and they're showing that now. 
so I want to sort of like I want to sort of knock that away at the moment I get it I know from the outside and, and everything else at the moment but there's big plans at the club to keep progressing and moving forward but I've got to stress it I believe in these players these, these lads are, are top players and they're showing it